Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On November 16th, Luminar released GenSwap, their latest generative AI tool, which Luminar says will allow you to effortlessly replace specific elements with AI-generated visuals that integrate with the rest of your image. So is GenSwap good? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. So let's see whether GenSwap works with this photo. Let's try to replace the subject with a woman. To use GenSwap, first brush on the area to replace. Second, describe the replacement in the prompt provided. I'll type woman smiling. Finally, click swap. That's it. GenSwap will access some AI service, I don't know which, to perform the magic. So you will need an internet connection for this to work. The result is generally good, but the woman's face looks strange. So let's perform GenSwap once again and try to replace the figure with a man smiling. Now this once again is not a perfect result. The arm of the man is missing some details. No problem. Let's regenerate a new image by reclicking Swap. Unfortunately, this time, it couldn't figure out a replacement and simply erased the image. Let's try it one more time. There you go. A better result. Next, let's see if we can add a boat in the background. Is that possible? Let's click the Reset Selection button and paint on the area to replace. Click Swap. Now that didn't work. Let's move on to try to replace the sky. Let's see if that works. So there is the result. Here are some more examples of GenSwap in action. So there you have it, a quick review that gives you a flavor of GenSwap. Let's run through some pros and cons of this service in my limited use. In terms of pros, you can see that GenSwap does work and is pretty easy to use. In terms of cons, as you've seen, the service did make more errors compared to similar services from Adobe and Canva Magic Studio. Another con is Luminar failed to integrate its AI masking into the service. You have to use the brush, which is far more tedious and imprecise. The AI masking would have been really useful for quickly replacing a sky with GenSwap. Another downside is, compared to Adobe, the quality of its results were inferior. Adobe's results blended better and looked more realistic in general compared to GenSwap. Finally, you might be asking, which one was the more useful generative AI tool, GenSwap or Generase? After using GenSwap, I definitely feel that Generase is the more useful tool. Personally, I'm not inclined to replace objects in my photos very often, but I suppose this service is more targeted to marketers and creatives as an alternative to Photoshop. All in all, GenSwap is a nice addition to Luminar and a good differentiator against its competitors. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of GenSwap and generative AI in general. Is it useful? Do you use it yourself? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.